Hi, Gina here from Blackfish Arts Tasmania, and I'm back on the Chisel Book. I'm, I'm heading now to the, on the home run. Uh, in previous episodes, you would see um, I have explained how I printed it and what the intention was. I was visiting my mother in Western Australia, and I had um, intended to do a little project, which was this Chisel Book. Um, as it happened, I printed the pages, took it with me, and came back with it, having done nothing, as um, things took over in Western Australia. So, um, previous episodes, you'll see I've attached the cover. This is actually f cut from the box of the Jeezels. I folded the pages and created the concertina, so, so the imagery is double-sided on both sides. And um, I'm heading on the home run now. So the idea, I've already attached that cover. So I'll just quickly attach this cover, which is the back of the chisel, you know, a, a part of the chisel box that will be the back of the cover, attached to um, pre-painted papers. So unfortunately we do lose the pre-painted papers, but this nice sturdy stock that I've attached it to. So I would, this is scrap paper, printing that's um, defunct now. So I would look at gluing this onto there. So I'll put a scrap sheet in there. And I am gluing the paper side because the cover is just a tad larger so the glue doesn't go everywhere. Um, I'm using matte gel medium for the gluing um, off the edges from the center out always. So you're going from the center out because if you run your brush across the edge like that, you're going to get glue going under the page. So we've done the back page, we're pulling the scrap out, and I'm attaching the cover. Now to attach it, I've got a bit of uh, room to move, time, before it sets. So I'm just setting it up on the edge. I can see I've got a nice a nice gap of the cover everywhere. <laughs> Still maneuvering to get it now to make sure it's okay as a front and book. I'm making sure, and that will just for me. It's the the back end of the book is the most important to have a nice flush side. The front I don't mind if it's not flush. In this case everything seems pretty flush at the moment. Um, so you can see I've now glued it. It's, I'm happy with where it's sitting so I'm just making sure it's laminating and just quickly again back to that's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we have a book with the covers now. Um, there's a few sheets here. You'll see in the previous ep episodes, I think I've explained how I did it and how many sheets there are and why. Uh, so I had also, there were some blank areas. So I printed out separate sheets. All this is on beautiful abnormal paper, so this is rag content, it's beautiful paper. I've had it for years and years and years, and abnormal is just no longer available. I got it locally, Tasmania, um, and I'm still using it. So what I did was, because there were some blank areas such as that, which doesn't actually matter, but um, going page by page, I'm thinking through what I'm doing, and maybe I will bring some lettering in sometime, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, so this one feels, oh, these two have been glued on, 
glued on that's printed there that's glued on that's glued on so I have cut around chisel shapes I've cut around the shapes and sometimes I've cut the inside of it out um, but you can see here when I paste it down there's lines there this one with lines doesn't matter in fact going in the opposite direction creates some kind of um, dynamism I like that um, <clears throat> so I've already glued this one on you can see the lines going in a different direction this one's glued on which was a blank and this is a blank page so when I glued these on that's got lines across you probably can't see that it's very subtle lines across there which is a print of a chisel on the line paper and then you've got the line paper here so I'm quite liking blank bring in the lines, lines, bring in lines, opposing, and so on. Uh, so that's what I'm going to continue on doing, thinking through what I'll do. Th these are prints, there's no gluing on there, no collage. Uh, and maybe if I can find something to say, I can't think of anything, but here we've got all the circles happening. I could bring in the lines and whole pieces this this is looking okay uh, let's see double one there like that like that like that yeah, I quite like that. So, I'm going to glue it down. Here we go. On the scrap paper with matte medium. Not too much. This looks a bit much on there. Not too much. There. So, we've got a blank sheet and lines through the print. Um, this one also has subtle lines on it. A shadow. And this one is lines as well. On blank sheet, I like this. Get out, hand it. Yeah, on that edge. There we go. Okay, I like it. It is a chisel book after all. Uh, and now I like that. So this had spaces, I filled it. Sometimes we need spaces, so I quite like that. Um, I like the different printing styles where this is um, much lighter and pushes it into the background versus this one bringing it out into the foreground. Uh, nice, I like the fold through the whole lot. Uh, not sure. I shall be playing. That's nice too. And there we go, chisel book. The, you know, the back of it has, has pages too, so it's a circular thing. Um, if I can find any lettering or words to go with it or to, that makes some kind of sense. Maybe. Um, I can't think of anything that's um, relevant. But we're on our way. That's that's a nice book. Concertina style, all joined together. In previous episodes, I've said how I've joined them all to printed and joined them all together. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, do like and subscribe. I'm posting irregularly on a various subjects. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.